What's up, everyone? MicroStrategy here. Ha ha ha. Yeah, no. So, yeah, you might have noticed that the channel got terminated uh, yesterday, and now it is back. And over the weekend, there was some random crypto scam live stream happening. Uh, at first, I really had no idea what was happening, but I thought I would just go ahead and try to prevent misinformation from being spread and kind of explain what the heck happened. So on Saturday, I was actually finishing up the uh, Triggered and Mind-Blowing videos for Kirby and the Forgotten Land. We were going to release them, I think, yesterday and today, and then we were going to put out a third video. But that was kind of the plan. I was in the middle of, like, basically finishing both of those videos. I got signed out, and then all of a sudden, my password was changed, my two-factor didn't work. And let me tell you, I have everything very secure on my end. I have unique and long passwords for pretty much all of my emails. I had, you know, two-factor on everything. You know, I was, I had a password manager. I was taking all of these safety precautions possible. So what ended up happening was the Bethaniel channel, I believe, was the first channel to get compromised. Then after that, it was this channel and then the Minus World channel. And the reason all three of those channels got hit is because my, uh, my main Gmail account was technically linked to all three of those channels. So whoever was doing this was able to access all three of the channels. And what they did was they delisted all of the videos, except on Minus World, they kept those up for some reason. But then, of course, they ran the weird live streams. Uh, 20,000 of you left. I understand why so many of you left and unsubscribed. You're probably very confused why that was popping up in your subscription box. So if you want to resubscribe, feel free to. I'm, I'm back, and um, I'm taking even more safety precautions now. I got a new phone number. I'm actually going to get two brand new phone numbers. And um, I'm taking things, like, ridiculously seriously. I'm going to have way more email addresses to ensure that if something does get compromised again, it cannot spread as far as it did. Not really sure why people do this. Like, I understand... I, no, actually, never mind. I don't understand why, uh, you know, people hack channels. Like, wh why would you hack... Okay, here's my question to whoever did this. If you are watching this, why pick a random gaming Nintendo channel? What, because I have a million subscribers? Is is your scam supposed to work against my audience? Like, they don't care. I don't even know what cryptocurrency really is. I know very little about it. I don't know why you think attacking any of, of my channels would really make any sense. But, okay. So that happened. I started trending on Twitter. That was freaking wild. Um, I'm still debating if I should frame a screen cap of that. Maybe that's a little too egotistical, but like that is kind of an accomplishment. I'm not going to lie. So yeah, I do want to clear up a few things now that we have basically everything back. Did MicroStrategy do this? Did Michael Saylor do this? The person on the thumbnail? I don't think so. I think they are not involved. To be frank, I have no idea who was involved still. My best guess, based off of some research that we did, was that it was some sort of um, Russian scammer just based off of the where the registry of the ha hijacker's email address came from. However, I cannot confirm or deny that. Or deny that. I do not want to make any sort of accusations because I really do not know what happened exactly. But there is a possibility that it was some sort of Russian scammer. However, I do know how they got in, and it was my fault entirely. So I know that I just said that I keep all of my stuff really secure and I have different passwords on anything. There is one email address that was linked to Bethaniel Nandy's channel, channel that was not secure, and that was in very, a, uh, excuse me, that was a very old Hotmail account, and this Hotmail account did not have two-step factor on, and uh, it had a very easy password to guess. Or it wasn't like easy to guess necessarily, but if you had the right tools, you could get into it pretty easily. And uh, I finally logged into this Hotmail account. I was shocked I was even able to do so, and uh, I found logins as late as January. There was some dude that logged in like once in January, twice in February, twice in March before he even decided to get into my account. So I'm guessing he was trying to gather some sort of information to uh, get into all three of the channels. So I really don't know what exactly happened. But um, yeah, I'm going to be wiping that email from existence as soon as possible. And uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing physical security keys. I am getting multiple phone numbers now. Um, I'm tired of getting hacked. My Twitter got hacked last year. That was awful. That, that person got into my PayPal and my Facebook. I never even addressed that on this channel. But that was a mess. This was way worse and way scarier. Um, I do just want to give a huge thank you to Gerard the Completionist because uh, I have a YouTube manager. And my only contact with her at the time was through uh, my Gmail, which obviously 
on Saturday. Didn't have access to that, so I couldn't contact her. Gerard, being the Chad that he is, uh, has lots of YouTube contacts, and he knew someone that knew my YouTube manager. So we were able to get in touch through Twitter, and uh, you know we called a few times, and we tried to get things resolved. The uh, Google hijacking team, while it did take them a few days, they were able to resolve everything. Um, I do have to say, if anyone on the hijacking team or anyone higher up is watching this, I would recommend trying to find a, a faster system. Um, I know it's very difficult because YouTube's such a huge platform, but even just a way to have like a Google Hangout call whenever someone's account gets hijacked, especially someone that does have a, an audience like I do, uh, I think that would be something to at least look into getting started because I basically just had to wait for emails. And while they were very persistent the first day, I was getting lots of emails from them. Once Sunday and Monday hit, it was like one email a day, and I had to submit three different cases for all three different channels. So as you can imagine, Sunday and Monday were like the longest days of my life because I didn't, I, I kind of had access to my channels, but not really. I, I had instructions to kind of fix things, but like it wasn't working at first. So there were a lot of issues that I feel it like could have been resolved with a five to 10 minute phone call. So I do hope that is something that Google can implement in the future for when you know, things like this happen again, because I do not think this will be the last time that channels get compromised like this. And hopefully it won't happen to me again, but I do feel like unfortunately it is gonna happen to other channels in the future. I did also notice that some people thought that I was very calm, because um, I did post like a video on my Twitter as well as the clip channel, that one did not get hacked because it was not attached to um, it was not attached to any of the Gmail accounts that the main three channels were. I posted two update videos, one yesterday and then one on Saturday, and people thought I was very calm. And uh, I mean, I guess I was kind of calm, but I'm not gonna lie, I was having a serious anxiety attack. So if it wasn't for you know all my friends at Minus World sitting at me or sitting with me in a call on Discord for a few hours on Saturday, I would have had a, a mental breakdown because like this is my entire life, this is my career. So uh, yeah, obviously it was a little scary losing everything, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so, you know, thank you to them and thank you to, you know, everyone else, there's a lot of people, there were so many people actually that sent worrying text messages, Discord messages, Twitter DMs. So that really did help a lot because, uh, yeah, I mean, my anxiety levels were ridiculously high on Saturday. With all that said, we are back. Um, I'm still going to make more security measures today. Our next video is going to be a banger, and I'm just going to reveal what the heck it is. I know I did briefly talk about Kirby and the Forgotten Land triggered and mind-blowing. Those are still going to come. We're going to wait a few days to release those, but we're going to start by releasing something pretty big that's been in the works for three to four weeks. I, no, actually over a month at this point, and that is ranking every Kirby game. It's almost 40 Kirby games. It includes Kirby and the Forgotten Land, and uh, we have been working on it even while the channels have been compromised, so that should be up very soon. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you all for um, you know checking out the channel. If By the way, if the channel still says MicroStrategy, it should be changed back in the next day or so, maybe sooner. Sometimes it takes YouTube to update like channel names, it, sometimes it, it, it just takes them a little while to do that. But um, yeah, we're back in business. Let's just pretend this never happened and let's just move on. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.